Hello guys, Sanjay here and welcome back to a new video and Xiaomi recently launched two of their new smartphones Redmi Y1 and the Redmi Y1 Lite. I have both these smartphones. I bought Redmi Y1 from Amazon and I bought the Redmi Y1 Lite from MI.com. Both the phones were delivered immediately on the next day which is awesome and I had to order them in a flash sale and yes these devices are available in flash sales only as of now. I hope they remove the flash sales pretty soon. I'm going to unbox both these products in the same video because I don't think so that we need to do separate videos. So let's get started. This is the Redmi Y1, Redmi Y1 Lite. First of all, both these devices are having 5.5 inch HD display and not full HD display, meaning the resolution will be 1080 by 720 and not 1920 by 1080. Uh, and Corning Gorilla Glass protection is present on both these devices. Redmi Y1 is focused towards selfie camera and that's why it is having 16 megapixel front facing camera with a selfie flash. Whereas Redmi Y1 Lite is supposed to be a huge screen display at the price of 7000 rupees. So that's why it is having 5.5 inches of display. Redmi Y1 comes with Snapdragon 435 processor. Whereas Redmi Y1 Lite comes with Snapdragon 425 processor. Uh, this can be a deal breaker for many because performance on the Redmi Y1 is going to be much better as compared to Redmi Y1 Lite but obviously you are paying extra for the Redmi Y1 so you are supposed to get better performance. Both these devices support external micro SD card and this time Xiaomi is not giving hybrid SIM card slot but they have provided a dedicated micro SD card slot on both these devices which can expand up to 128 GB. Redmi Y1 comes in two variants 3 GB and 4 GB RAM. I have the 3 GB RAM variant with 32 GB of internal storage and as, it, as I said, it is having a dedicated micro SD card slot. Whereas I have the 2GB RAM variant of the Redmi Y1 Lite which comes with 16GB of internal storage. Both these devices are having MIUI and uh, there, there is no stock Android on both these devices. And once again, both these devices are marketed as made in India but these are not made in India, these are assembled in India because uh, we do not have manufacturing process that can manufacture devices or PCBs in India as of now. But uh, you can be happy that these are made in India. Now let's unbox this and uh, where is our special tool? We have our special tool to unbox these products over here. Let me just unbox this and I'll be back in a second. Let's say thanks to our unboxing tool. Thanks a lot. Yeah. If you have any knife suggestions, do let me know about that in the comment section box below. Amazon, Flipkart or AliExpress or Banggood.com uh, links are appreciated. So here we have the Redmi Y1 Lite and uh, here we have the Redmi Y1. Both these devices look kinda identical to each other. The only difference between both these devices is the selfie flash which is present on the Redmi Y1 whereas no selfie flash is present on the Redmi Y1 Lite. Otherwise both these devices look exactly similar. Uh, let me just open it up. In the box you will get the device, some manuals which I am not going to read, micro USB cable. There is one empty box over here where you can keep your own USB cable. Uh, we have the charger and both these devices do not support quick charging. And that's why we have a charger which gives output of 5 volts and 2 amperes only. So let's keep that aside. And uh, the same accessories are present in the Redmi Y1 Lite too because uh, this is the same packaging. As I said, we have the normal packaging micro USB cable and the charger which will have 5 volts and 2 amperes of rating. So no quick charging support. These devices will take at least two hours to charge completely from 0 to 100 percent. So let's start both the phones at the same time and let's see if Snapdragon 435 present on the Redmi Y1 is actually faster or not. Okay so both the devices are booting up. In my initial impressions it feels like Redmi Y1 is little bit heavier as compared to Redmi Y1 Lite. Fingerprint sensor is present on the Redmi Y1 whereas no fingerprint sensor is present on the Redmi Y1 Lite. So do keep a note of this that if you need a fingerprint sensor you have to go with Redmi Y1 and not the Redmi Y1 Lite. I believe that Redmi Y1 is a better deal uh, overall if your budget allows you to. And as you can see Redmi Y1 booted up tiny bit quicker as compared to Redmi Y1 Lite and this is the difference between Snapdragon 435 processor and the Snapdragon 425 processor. I'll just set up the device and I'll be back. So we have both the devices set up and as you can see the display quality is really good. View angles are nice too in my initial impressions. I don't see any type of issue with the viewing angles at least. And as you can see, uh, obviously 
the Snapdragon 435 device is a little bit quicker as compared to Snapdragon 425 device, which is, this is the Redmi Y1 Lite on my right side and uh, Redmi Y1 on the left side, just in case if you forgot that. And if, if we go into about phone, you can see that both these devices are based on Android version 7.1.2. So that's another nice thing. But when it comes to MIUI version, these devices are currently running on MIUI 8. And when we check for updates, there are no updates for MIUI 9 as of now, but these devices will get the MIUI 9 update for sure. Uh, so no, that's not something to worry about. Let's take a physical overview of both these devices. On the left side, we have the SIM card tray on both the devices, nothing else. On the right side, we have the power button and the volume buttons. At the bottom side, we have the micro USB ports and the speaker grill. One of them is a speaker grill. These devices do not have stereo speakers. And at the top, we have infrared sensors on both these devices, which is an awesome thing. Headphone jack and thanks to Xiaomi for not removing it and do add it back on MI Mix 3 whenever you're launching it. We have the secondary noise cancellation mic over here. On the back side, we have the 13 megapixel camera on the Redmi Y1 Lite and the 13 megapixel camera on the Redmi Y1 2. Uh, I'm not sure if it's 13 megapixel, I'll mention it over here. And on the back side, we have the fingerprint sensor on the Redmi Y1. There is no fingerprint sensor on the Redmi Y1 Lite. And that's pretty much it. In the front, we have extra selfie flash, as I said earlier. I have set up the fingerprint sensor. Let me just show you how quick it is. So I kept my finger and it got unlocked. So the fingerprint sensor is pretty quick. As you can see, and it is surprisingly quick for the price of 9,000 rupees that we are paying. I have the Xiaomi Redmi Note 4 over here, just in case if you want to uh, see the size comparison, this is how the devices look side by side. Uh, the Redmi Y1 is a little bit slimmer as compared to Redmi Note 4 and I'm expecting Redmi Note 5 to be even slimmer than Redmi Y1. So let's see how that goes. Now camera is one of the biggest features of both these devices and that's why Xiaomi ended up launching Redmi Y1 and Redmi Y1 Lite. Front facing camera samples from the Redmi Y1 look uh, good when it comes to good lighting conditions and in my initial impressions I can say that Front facing camera of the Redmi Y1 is promising and when we look at the pictures side by side from the rear camera on the left side you are seeing the samples from Redmi Y1 and on the right side you are seeing samples from the Redmi Y1 Lite. These are rear facing camera samples and both the cameras are performing good for in good lighting conditions because the lighting condition is excellent right now. But when it comes to low lighting conditions, uh, I'm pretty much sure that both these devices are going to struggle. I'll mention that in my full review whenever I'm coming out with that in a week or so. Xiaomi Mi1 has a great rear facing camera, but when it comes to front facing camera, uh, it did struggle a lot. And I guess that's why Xiaomi is focusing on front facing camera and giving front facing flash on the Redmi Y1 2. When it comes to front facing camera, this is how the picture looks from Redmi Y1 and the Y1 Lite. And uh, you can get a little bit of idea. Just to show you the shutter speed, when I try to click pictures with both these devices, the pictures are clicked pretty quickly, no issues over there. When it comes to front facing camera, Okay, both these devices are having a little bit of delay over here. Let me just show it to you once again. Redmi Y1 Lite completes processing tiny bit quicker as compared to Redmi Y1, but this issue can be fixed with a software update. And Xiaomi does give software updates to fix the bugs that they have added in the software. And I'm pretty much sure that performance will be optimized on both these devices because Redmi Note 4, when it was launched, the performance was not at its best, but right now after one year, the performance is blazing fast. There are very few devices in the similar price range which can perform as good as Redmi Note 4. And I guess that's pretty much it for my unboxing and initial impressions of the Redmi Y1 and the Redmi Y1 Lite. If you want to buy any of these devices, the direct link for those will be present in the description box below. So don't forget to use those links if you are planning to buy these devices. In my initial impressions, these devices seem good. The display quality is surprisingly good in my opinion. Camera samples are good too. So if you still have any more doubts, suggestions or queries regarding these devices or if you want me to cover something else, then do let me know about that in the comment section box below. And it's time to bring our unboxing tool back so that I can show you guys the dedicated micro SD card slot present on these devices. So this time the SIM card tray is very long as you can see. You can insert first SIM card, second SIM card and the dedicated micro SD card slot over here. Similar SIM card slot is present in the Redmi Y1 Lite too, so I'm not going to show that. So if you guys enjoyed this video, don't forget to give this video a huge thumbs up. Let's see if we can reach 2500 likes on this video. And if you have not subscribed to the channel yet, then click on my face right now and get subscribed because many more awesome videos on Xiaomi related devices and reviews of these devices are going to come real soon on the channel. If you want me to make any particular video with
using these devices do let me know what that in the comment section box below so yeah thank you guys thank you for watching